Have you ever thought about a people's belief in gods and goddesses and who lives in heaven? Have you ever thought about the truth of gods and goddesses? If people really do believe in gods and goddesses, do they come down to earth? If they do, where do they go? There is an island on earth that is believed to be a paradise where gods and goddesses come down from heaven to worship the almighty on earth. That paradise island is called Bali. Bali is an Indonesian island located in the westernmost end of the Lesser Sunda Islands, located between the mainland island of Java to the west and the Lombok Island region to the east. It is one of the country's 33 provinces and the capital of Bali is Denpasar, which has a population recorded approximately of 3,900,000 people. About 92% of Bali's population adheres to Balinese Hinduism, while most of the remainder follows Islam, Buddhism or Christianity. The Balinese worship the Hindu trinity Barama, Shiva and Vishnu, who are seen as manifestations of the Supreme God, Shayang Wundi, the Creator. Shrines associated with the many gods and spirits, uniquely Balinese, are found all over the island. Balinese people strongly believe in sacred magic and the power of spirits, basing much of their religion on this. They believe good spirits dwell in the mountains and that the seven seas are home to demons and ogres. Balinese people believe in the existence of God, Yang Widi, and can be found everywhere including in ourselves. This belief is what is used to guide human behaviour to the purification of thoughts, words and good deeds. Hindus believe that the universe and everything is the creation of God and that this gift is to be used by mankind for their survival. Because of the guidance, the literature, Hinduism teaches that the universe always maintain that the preservation and harmony translated into understanding the philosophy of Trihita Karana as a free way process, which are the perfection of life. Namely, relationship with God as Atma or soul is found in the form of religion which sets the pattern of spiritual communication through a variety of ceremonial offerings to the Lord. Man's relationship with the natural world as Anga or Bod and finally the human relationship with fellow human beings as Kaya or energy.
Bali, God's power of spirit and sacred magic. Bali is well known for their temples and shrines. Some temples become tourist destinations because of their unique location and architecture, such as Pura Budongo. Puritan a lot. And Pura Bakashi, the mother of all Bali temples, located on the slopes of Mount Agung, the highest mountain in Bali, is considered the most important by people from all over Bali, and as such, many will travel there to worship. Buildings such as temples and residential homes are spatially orientated by having the most sacred spaces closest to the mountain and thus closest to the gods and ancestors and the unclean places nearest to the sea where the demons and ogres reside. Every day small offering trays, kanang sari containing symbolic food, flowers, cigarettes and money are respectfully put on shrines in temples, in front of houses and shops, and at dangerous crossroads. Balinese respect the spirits that are all around us in the world. Bali, temples, shrines and offerings. Balinese culture itself was strongly influenced by Indian, Chinese and particularly Hindu culture being around the 1st century AD. Balinese performing arts often portray stories from Hindu epics such as the Barong dance. A Barong dance is taken from a well-known Hindu mythology Maha Bharata. The story is about the fight between the Barong and the Ranga. Hinduism in Bali is slightly different from the Indian variety because it is influenced by Balinese native culture. Another famous Balinese dance is the Kachek dance, which tells the story of Rama and Shinta from the myth of Ramayana. Bolognese economy has largely agricultural base in terms of both output and employment for the past three decades. But these days, tourism is the largest single industry, and as a result, Bali is one of Indonesia's wealthiest regions. About 80% of Bali's economy depends on tourism. It is also well known as the largest tourist destination in the country and is renowned for its cultural art and its natural panoramas. There are so many tourists from across the world who visit Bali, especially from Australia, China, 
Europe and the United States. Foreigners have given titles to Bali such as the Island of Gods, Island of Paradise, Island of a Thousand Temples, The Morning of the World and many many others. Bali, Heaven on Earth.